much like Kenny Stabler. Are you he, saying he doesn't have a strong arm then? Uh, well, I don't think it's a, a strong, uh, a near as strong an arm as A.J. Schrader. Here's the blitz. Third and ten. that drops right in to Tim Brown over the defender's head. So J.C. Pearson couldn't do a thing about it. Beautiful touch. And that's why they drafted him number one. And he'll, of course, have that great asset throughout his career. 73-yard drive engineered by the 22-year-old Marinovich, the youngest of the Marinovich, who played at Southern Cal, was a Raider, conditioning coach of the Raider. And his mom, it's... Uh, it's a realization of a lifetime. Yeah, good for the 49ers. Marinovic down the middle. Touchdown! What a throw to Brown! That's the second time Marinovic and Brown have hooked up today. Three touchdown passes for Marinovic in his debut. What can you say? It's just beautifully done. No pass rush right in front of the numbers. This is Southern California as we show you where the divisional playoffs begin in Frozen Rich Stadium, just outside Buffalo. Bills hosting the Los Angeles Raiders. Weather figures to be a huge factor. Current temperature in Buffalo, zero. Wind chill, 25 degrees below. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim Lampley in our warm New York studio along with Mike Ditka and Joe Gibbs. Cold weather football. Great to watch, tough to play in. Should we feel sorry for these guys, Mike? I don't think so. They're going to be out there for about two hours and 40 minutes. You can get a suntan in that same amount of time. These guys make a lot of money. They're very used to it. I don't think it'll bother them that much. Look at the psych job by Greg Townsend of the Raiders during warm-ups. Well, I tell you, this is all Al Davis. I mean, there's no question this is a psych job. This guy will probably be in a hospital tomorrow with pneumonia, <laughs> but he's going to psych him out today. Now, we've wide out along with the single running back, Nick Bell. And Hostetler could not find anyone. And runs it out at the marker. <laughs> he ran over and sat down on the bench next to Steve Tasker. Got a little warm, came back. 45 seconds, remaining third quarter. Hostetler's pass caught by Brown. Tim Brown in the open field. One man back. He beats Kelso, and he's in for the touchdown. Eighty-six yard pass reception, and the Raiders have once again taken the lead. How many teams have you ever heard him say, "If you're going to live by a blitz, you're going to die by a blitz"? And that time, Nate Odoms was on a blitz. And he's a quarter man, and you've got Brown. Hostetler gets to the outside. He also has Jet on the top side, who has also had his man beaten, and that's where Kelso was. But Kelso comes out, and it really isn't fair. Here's a, here's a safety with Brown coming down, who was a, a world-class sprinter. He was at one time at 60 yards. And then here he comes downfield, and, and he makes the play. Kelso has really no chance of making the tackle on. All he's trying to do is hope somebody can catch up and you're not going to catch Brown. Raiders by one. And here is Jeff Jager. Whoa! He hit the goalpost. I told you, there are no gimmies today as far as the special teams are concerned, and we're seeing great special team play. We're seeing... Okay, here we go. Let's go back to the touchdown and watch Hosteller. He's got time, so he moves to the outside, and then he finds Brown. Once Brown gets his man beaten, that's Washington, it's all over. Here comes Nate Odoms. He's not even in the picture because he was in the backfield blitzing. And here's the move that he makes on Kelso. Kelso's hoping he can cut it back so Washington can make the play, but he doesn't. Brown. Whoa. Here it is again. Look at here. Here's Brown downfield, and once he makes this thing, 
you can almost say he was gone. You can see how far 37 8 Odoms was from behind. Here comes Kelso. He has no chance, but it's like a six or seven yard completion and a run for a touchdown. Third longest touchdown reception in the postseason. Recognition factor, you see, you get you get chances with one-on-one -on -one coverage in regards where you are in the field. You have to have enough confidence to throw the ball up on top for the big play. That was Billy Joe Holbert attempting and making the extra point for the Raiders because Jager, remember, was injured. Holbert kicks it through. It's 14 to 7, New England. 37 seconds to go, first quarter. This is Raider football. From this far out. I wanted to let you call the play here, Darrell, but... I really think that, that, that they should have went for it on fourth down. I really believe that because I just think they're better off passing. 45-yard field goal attempt by Billy Joe it. Hobart. It is good! Do you believe it? Isn't that something? <laughs> Jubilation among the silver and black. Look at the players running off the bench to mob Billy Joe Hobart. Five-yard field goal by Hobart. You and talk about clutch. And you talk about a rope. Boy, that thing was looking like, like radar hooked up to that baby. That went right through there. Look at that. Uh, he Ooh. just tucked it inside Started that a little bit. <laughs> Look at who's getting the biggest kick of all. Jeff Jager loves it. Look at those Notre Dame guys together. Well, the Fighting Irish has produced a couple of pretty good wide receivers there. Raiders with a remarkable fourth quarter comeback. Defeat the New England Patriots as Billy Joe Holbert kicks unbelievably a 47-yard, 45-yard field goal for the Raiders. And a down the quarterback. Eagles minus 14 total yards here in the second quarter. Cunningham with a pass, and Waters loses the ball, and the Raiders pick it up. Great read. Austin Robbins, and he goes in for the score. That's a great read by Bob Fredrickson. Eddie Anderson, the safety, put the hit on Ricky Waters, who coughed it up, and the Raiders get an easy touchdown. A nice hit. Perfect read outside. They're going to try the screen. Go outside. Mike Jones reads it right away. McLaughlin reads it right away. Eddie Anderson comes up with a great hit. Puts the helmet right on the ball. Well, we were just talking about whether the Eagles will try anything fancy, that was hardly anything fancy, and that's what can happen. The turnover and the easy score, a six-yard run-in by Austin Robbins, and now the Raiders can tie it up with a conversion here by Cole Ford, and the kick is good, and the Raiders with 14 quick points have knotted this one up at 17 with 137 remaining in the half. Yes, he is, but... He still has Pete as a possibility. Third down and eight. Cunningham loses the ball. Loose ball, and the Raiders may have it. 
And Chester McLaughlin recovers the fumble. <laughs> Three piggyback rides here today at the college. Look at it. That's a bonus. It should be a bonus because Anthony Smith, 94, is the guy who caused that thing. Better in motion. Hostetler to the end zone. Touchdown to Derek Fenner. Seven-yard toss to Derek Fenner. His second touchdown catch of the year, and the Raiders add to their lead. A lot of time to throw this ball, but look, at the end, you show the toughness of Hostetler. See, he sees this hold, hold, hold. Now he takes the shot. Eh, not that bad. But a good job at the end. See, fine, this is too wide open. There's got to be a breakdown inside in that coverage to let Fenner out there. Keep it on the ground to Williams. No signal. Touchdown. That's the latest touchdown signal I've ever seen. <laughs> Two touchdowns today by Harvey Williams. He went over on a one-yard dive to cap a 14-play, 81-yard drive. Five minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Pete. And they rule it in. A no whistle, keep no going. Whistle. It's a, keep it's a going. ball, and he's going to score. That's going to be Rob Fredrickson. That's a touchdown. It was not ruled a pass, and so Andre Bruce forced the fumble, and Rob Fredrickson runs it in for the touchdown, and everyone throws out on the field, including, I might add, the Raiders. Yeah, I see Chester McLaughlin. He was going, hey, go, go, no whistle. So the Raiders get another one, and their defense has done as well as their offense when it's come to scoring today. The other way would be one and three, 41 to 17. Vince Evans has come in at age 40, the oldest quarterback in the NFL. This be interesting X-ray coming up. Meanwhile, third down and five. Evans with good protection, and he's got Darrell Hobbs in the open field. Hobbs with one man to beat. And Hobbs will get in for the score. A career game for Darrell Hobbs. And 40-year-old Vince Evans comes in for the first time this year. And coolly and calmly hits Hobbs, who chases it in for a 54-yard touchdown play. In between the zones, between the deep and short zones. And then he's just off to the races. Hobbs right in the middle. I'll tell you, Ray Rhodes is going to pull his hair out when he takes a look at this film and see how they're playing those zones because it looks like the backers are not getting the depth that they should be getting. And by the way, the Raiders' longest offensive pass play was only 28 yards from Hostetler to Rocket Ismail until now. And this 54-yard strike from Evans to Hobbs, the longest pass play of the year for the Oakland Raiders. It's under the tree, are more tightly wrapped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Elway fumbles the ball. It's still loose. And it's picked up by the Raiders. Eric Turner with a blocker in front. Turner down the sideline for a touchdown.
bounce for Kaufman. This play is designed to go in here. Watch him bounce. The guard was Nuski pulls, supposed to go inside the tackle. That's that bouncing. That's that instinct. And why did it take this guy so long to be a full-time running back, by the way? Greg Robinson livid on the Denver sideline. Tyrone Braxton was the last man that had a shot at him. Kaufman broke that tackle easily. And Ford's extra point is good. Kaufman now has carried 21 times for 211 yards. It's 28-17. The only thing that really gets on Napoleon Kaufman is the right arm of Tyrone Braxton right there. Now the only thing that could stop him would be a divot, a trip, a tall pigeon, but none of the above get in the way. Or one of those guys we saw on the stands earlier, just to look at one of those guys, as Cole Ford kicks off. Hebron from the four.